This product in this video is what I've been waiting for for a long, long time. This is a Thunderbolt 3 dock done right. It's got all of the ports I need, plus some additional features, and I'm really pleased to share with you my opinion of the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock. So before I show you around all the ports and talk to you about my experience with this product, let's have a look at the design and the build quality. It's got a plastic top and a plastic bottom. These are both glossy black plastic. This is probably my only negative point about the product is I wish this had been a matte sort of finish. Glossy plastics, they sort of show and attract dust more and fingerprints. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but I just thought I would mention it would be my preference if it was matte. This is just brilliant. This is a really nice metal enclosure to the sort of a perimeter of the device. And it's just so nicely done. Very, very nicely cut, very accurate. Uh, we've got the OWC branding just down here. And it says across here, Thunderbolt 3 dock. And it's just very, very solidly made. Really robust, great build quality. Now inside the box, you do get a very short Thunderbolt 3 cable. You also, of course, get the power supply as well. On the front of the device here, we've got an SD card slot. Really nice to see a memory card slot. We've also got a headphone jack, and we've also got a USB 3.1 uh, high-powered port. So this is a super fast port on the front, very easily accessible as well because of where they've located it. If you look around on the sides, both sides there are no connections at all. The rest of the connections reside across the back of this product. And why you would have a product like this is if you own an Ultrabook or a laptop, maybe you've got the very latest MacBook Pro, which has Thunderbolt 3, and you use it on the go all the time whilst you're traveling around. When you return back to your home or your office, you can plug your laptop into the Thunderbolt 3 port and have all of your peripherals connected to the various other ports. And once you plug it in, not only does it give you access to all of your peripherals, it also charges, connects your display with one single cable. Plus, of course, you've got that memory card reader on the front, which is a very sadly missed uh, port or addition that Apple missed off of their latest MacBook Pros. So thankfully, this brings back the memory card port. So what have we got in way of connections? Well, we've got some high performance ports here, all USB 3.1, four in total, which is really very, very good indeed. We've also got an optical digital out. We've also got one of the legacy ports here, one of the older connections. This is FireWire 800, and this is great. We used to use this for high speed external hard drives, so we've still got access to this. And indeed, I think, if memory serves me right, even some older video cameras connected via FireWire. We've also got a gigabit Ethernet port. It's got a couple of LEDs, both for speed and connectivity. We've got two Thunderbolt 3 ports. One of them you'd connect to an external monitor, perhaps. The other one you'd connect your laptop or Ultrabook to. This supports 4K up to 60 Hertz as well on the display output. And then of course to your display, if that's got additional ports, you can daisy chain other devices. We've also got a mini display port. This is also display port version 1.2 and supports up to 4K 60 Hertz as well. And then the last port here is the input for the power supply. Now during my testing period, the Thunderbolt 3 dock from OWC has performed admirably. The speed across all of the ports has been as expected. I've had no issues connecting my uh, MacBook Pro to this and then in turn having it automatically connect to the display that I've got plugged into the Thunderbolt 3 port. I've also really appreciated the fact that I've got this SD card slot on the front because we all ingest media on our laptops. I produce a lot of videos and one of the biggest downsides of the latest MacBook Pros is no memory card reader. So I really appreciate that being here. And another thing I've also really appreciated, which I never really thought I would before, because the latest MacBook Pros are all USB-C, there's no regular USB ports, having this easy access port on the front for things like USB flash drives is really very good indeed. This is a great product, it's superbly built, very keenly priced, and it's one of the best docks I've tested to date. This is the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock. 
If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe. Check out the links down in the video description. And I'll see you in another video very soon.